Good morning, everybody. This is Diggs. It's another beautiful day out here in the Pacific Northwest, and I hope you guys are as excited for the new upcoming Fire Emblem as I am. It releases this Friday. Uh, it's called Fire Emblem Engage. We're going to talk about it a little bit, uh, talk about my thoughts regarding it compared to the previous iterations. Uh, let's go ahead and dig in. <laughs> So I'm definitely looking forward to getting and playing this game. Uh, it's probably going to be occupying a good chunk of my time uh, for the next couple of weeks. And a lot of the early reviews are out on it. Uh, and we're getting a lot of really interesting information. For those of you that have played uh, Three Houses, uh, you'll know that Fire Emblem Three Houses was very story focused. Uh, you spent a lot of time investing and learning about the individual characters because they were all new to the franchise. Uh, you learned a lot about them, a lot about their backgrounds, a lot about the relationships. And that was a really important part of the game. However, you kind of got sucked into uh, kind of the almost story aspect of the game more so than the actual tactical gameplay. Uh, given the fact that there were also optional missions a lot of the times that would distract you from say story missions that were really just like missions on a reskin map that you'd done before, it quite quickly you know, revealed itself less as a tactical masterpiece and more of a story focused game. It was still wonderful, uh, but I know a lot of people were upset at kind of the lack of tactical depth the game had, even on higher difficulties. So looking at this and kind of listening to all of the early reviews, it seems that Fire Emblem Engage may actually have the opposite problem. Uh, it does seem like Fire Emblem Engage tends to lean away from the story uh, in favor of more enhanced and more tactical combat situations, as well as kind of bringing together different aspects and new elements of gameplay. Is this going to be enough to make it interesting, engaging, and better than the previous iterations? I'm not quite sure. Uh, I'm in kind of a state right now where I'm excited to see what they're doing, uh, but I'm also always worried when people experiment or when we kind of deviate from uh, kind of what's done before. I think we could have released a new three houses with more tactical depth, and we probably would have been really good. So looking at Fire Emblem Engage right now, one of the things I also have a problem with, and this of course could just be because of the Nintendo Switch, is kind of the layout and the origin of the tactical gameplay itself, as well as the map. When we're talking about tactical games, this does it actually look pretty much like a mobile game right now. Uh, it, it's one of those situations and it, it's unfortunate, uh, but with the lack of power that the Switch has, you know, there are mobile games coming out that just look better than this. Uh, you know, especially if you were going to scale it up or you're going to be playing it on a larger TV, docked, uh, it, it just is going to kind of draw it back a little bit. So. I actually think the 3D aspect of this, uh, very similar to Three Houses, actually kind of hurts it with the lack of graphical fidelity that the Switch has. Uh, not to say that we need to go fully back to the 2D version of Fire Emblem that we used to have, but finding a way to have some type of a hybrid situation or a situation where you're both rewarded with graphical fidelity, uh, whether it is you know, potentially a like a pixel remaster or redesigned type of style uh, with quality art. I'm not sure. Um, I'm not sure what the solution is for the future of the Fire Emblem franchise, but definitely with the Nintendo Switch's power level and with what we're seeing so far, I'm probably just going to turn the combat animations off as soon as I start the game. And if there is a way to flip it into a 2D mode or a way to kind of just see what I need to see on the screen, I'll probably do that because just looking at the screen and looking at the combat right now, there's nothing I need to see. There's nothing I need to know. Uh, and even the sprites from Three Houses 
actually look a little bit better than these 3D renders that keep popping up. Uh, in Three Houses, you had a lot of kind of 2D art intermingled with 3D art. And what we're seeing a lot here is just the 3D models being used which is okay if the 3D models are really good and really in depth, but that is just not always the case. I'm also a little worried about how much we're going to get connected to these characters and the characters in the new Fire Emblem, uh, just because I find their design a little bit weird. Uh, I thought Three Houses uh, had a ton of characters that were really well designed with compelling backstories and i just don't see that in the main character uh just looking at the main character compared to say bailith uh bailith like i don't know why we're and maybe this is just my lack of knowledge on the history of fire emblem i don't know why we always have to have multicolored eye characters with different colored hairs like blue and red like what is going on here like i just want <laughs> i just want a normal character I want a character with one single color hair and you know I want to call it good there so you know I I just find the design really weird uh and you know maybe that'll change as I play maybe we'll get a time skip like we did in three houses uh maybe we're going to see you know some type of transformation of the character but just in terms of character design itself not sure now, I feel like I've been pretty negative throughout this video, but I do want to say, guys, I am really excited for this game. I just have a lot of hopes and a lot of wishes for what it could be or what I would love to see the future of the Fire Emblem franchise kind of bring to, you know, bring up the game. I, I feel like it is a franchise that has such potential, such a love, such a following. And you know, as someone who has recently fallen in love with it right now, over the course of the last five years, you know, I've been enjoying it too. I just want a little bit more. I want it to get like a PC release with 60 FPS, right? I would love that. That would be amazing with just a little bit more. And I feel like there's a lot of Switch games that do have that, right? Where it's like just that little bit more and it would be absolutely incredible. But right now I feel like it's at a good place. It seems like early reviews in, it's actually gonna be a very smart tactical game, which I'm hoping for. And hopefully it's going to be really good for everybody and you guys enjoy watching me play it and uh, pushing my way through. Um, and if you guys, do you have your own opinions or you played a little bit of this or you've been watching because I know there's other content creators who have uh, gotten this out already. Uh, leave your opinions down below in the comment section. Let me know what you think because I know there is a lot of divisive thoughts right now on the new Fire Emblem and a lot of people are feeling very differently across the spectrum. Anyway, everybody, thank you so much for watching and have a great rest of your day.